Hey guys, it's Shayla here. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys asked for a yellow, orange kind of look and you guys got it. So I call this, what should we call this? We'll call this the uh, summer 16 yellow, orange look. How about that? Or summer 16 yellow, orange vibes. We'll figure it out. Either way, you guys are getting this kind of sunset inspired look. If you want to learn how to do this, continue to watch. So as you can see, I already have my foundation, my powder, my brows on. Today is really focusing on this sunset eye look. We can call it a summer look, a bronzy look, a sunset look, whatever you want to call it, today is all about eyes. So let's get started with an eyeshadow base. I like to use the Urban Decay Eden as my eyeshadow base and I'm going to apply this all over from my lash line to under my brow. You want to blend out the eyeshadow base with your Makeup Forever 226 brush. I'm using mainly colored rain eyeshadows today. I'm going to start by applying gingerbread all over my crease. This is the NYX blending brush that I love. It's probably like $8. It's really affordable you guys. Next apply chocolate all over the crease. Chocolate is our second transition color, so this is going to add a little bit more depth to the crease. And I'm just following this bone right here that pops out, and I'm using that as my guide. So just go back and forth. Using that same Makeup Forever brush, apply your yellow eyeshadow all over the lid. I'm using Superstar from Colored Rain. Look how bright this is, whoa. Whoa! So I'm pressing and packing this all over the lid, but like only halfway. This is gonna look like a sunset, like for real. Next I'm gonna apply pumpkin pie on the outside of my lid. Use that same Makeup Forever brush. So this orange color is more on the matte side, so I'm really like making sure I'm putting a ton of product on the brush, and I'm pressing and packing it all over. I don't know if you guys can see but when you have really bright colors and you have neutral browns in the crease it kind of tones it down a little bit. So for those of you who like to wear color but sometimes it's a little too bright just put those neutral browns in your crease. That's a secret. This is Goldilux Clay Pot from Tarte. I'm gonna apply this on my inner waterline and under my lash line. It's yellow. So you basically want to put it in the waterline and kind of covering the lashes and under the lash line. I actually don't even know if like you're supposed to do this, but listen, that's what we're doing. Look at how like big my eyes look right now. Okay, so next we're basically going to do the same thing we did on the top lid to the bottom lash line. So apply that really light gold using that same angled brush on the inner and apply that orange on the outside of the lash line. Make sure that the orange from the bottom lash line meets up with the orange from the top. As much as I want to wing out my eyeliner, if you want to see like color more, you can't wing it out. So I'm going to do like a really natural thin line. I'm like always so disappointed when I can't wing out my eyeliner. <laughs> I'm using the Dosa Colors Fine Liner Brush with Inglot Gel Liner. Create little dots on the bottom lash line. So I'm just using the tip of this brush and I'm drawing little dots. Apply Smashbox Mascara on top and bottom lashes. Ah! Oh, literally just poke myself in the eye and blink. So like this actually happens to me a lot, especially if I sneeze or I just poke my eye out, I'll get black little dots here. So use a blending brush, like a little bullet brush. Wait for the mascara underneath to be completely dry and then just kind of like go over it and almost like wipe it off. When it's dry, it comes off quicker and then I'm gonna have to go over it with um, eyeshadow. <laughs> you guys just don't even know like how mad I am right now. Most people give up, I'm not giving up. Nope, gonna cover it with eyeshadow. Boom. It's like it never even happened. So apply mascara to your bottom lashes now. <laughs> Try not to poke out your eye. I feel like I'm probably the only person who freaking pokes their eye out. I was just being like a savage with the brush, you know? 
really quickly you guys I keep all of my individual eyeshadows in a Z palette so the Z palette is just empty and you can customize it to anything you want it's really dope I'm applying Lily Lashes in Hollywood I like to use a callus adhesive oh my god my lash just fell on the floor like what is the deal so look down and then put the lashes as close to the lash line as possible Tweezers make it 15 times easier, I promise. And I had to cut like the end off of these a little bit. Ooh, pretty. Oh my god, look at one eye compared to the other. That's crazy. Makes your eyes look like brighter, wow. Okay, now that we have the eyes done, let's finish off the look with some highlight, of course, some blush and lipstick. With my fan brush, I'm gonna apply Marilyn from Gerard Cosmetics on my cheekbones. So this is just a back and forth motion at the highest part of your cheek. Oh. You guys see what's happening today? <laughs> I'm just like a mess. What is going on? Put it on my lip. I like live for a nose highlight, you guys. Forgot how much I like this color. Next, I'm gonna use Sweetest Cocoa Blush from MAC. I like this because it's like a neutral. It kind of just gives me a little bit of a contour but a little bit of color. Because my eyes are so bright, I really don't want to do like too much on the cheeks and the lips, you know? I'm using the Marc Jacobs Angled Brush. As much as I kind of want to do like a bright lip, I also want to do like a brown lip. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I don't want to look like a clown, so. I'm gonna line my lips with ColourPop BFF3. So the final step is this Balm Lipstick from Maybelline called Choco. Pollock. It's a matte lipstick. Ooh, what do you guys think? It's kind of different, huh? Ooh, you know how I feel about a hair flip. My hair wants to stay in place. Mm hmm. Yep, there, yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching my sunset eye makeup tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Um, Hopefully you guys learned how to clean up your mascara. You guys saw how bad I messed that up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below. I love hearing from you guys. And last but not least, strut and slay.